Well, when I put this trailer together last year, I uh, put brand new bearings in it, all the grease naturally, and I couldn't get it to get this slop out of it. So I had to run it with that little bit of slop in it because the cotter pin would not line up with uh, with the hole in the castle nut and the uh, and the spindle too loose where it is now and uh, the next one tighter would have been too tight and uh, would have uh, ate my bearings up so we're going to put together put this back together with uh, spindle nut shims and get the right preload on the bearings. In fact, I think this particular one, after on, when we were on a road trip, I had had it too tight and I had to back them off and it, it literally cooled the bearings off. So tight enough to get that slop out of it and I miss I miss uh, miss the hole. So what we're gonna do is back this thing all the way off. Trailer axle spindle nut shims. Comes in three sizes. We got 15 thousandths, 25 thousandths, and 50 thousandths. There's two of each size in the pack. And uh, it should be enough to do two or at least a couple of trailers. Uh, we're going to start off with the 15 thousandths. See if we can't get the pin to line up with the with the uh, hole and the spindle, and have all that slop out of it. It needs to be just finger tight. And that's finger tight right there. And it lines up perfectly. Slops all out of it. It'll live longer. Preload is just right. When I make these installers for the dust caps so it doesn't beat the beat the dust caps up hammering on. Just like that. Slops all gone. Trailer axle spindle nut shim pack. Package distributed by Bacchus Enterprises, Emmett Idaho.